Hey everybody, welcome to another BetCast with me, Daryl Carter for RacingTips.com. Lovely to smash in a 6-1 to winning nap last week with Mac the Man. Hopefully there's a few more to come today. A uh, little bit tricky this weekend, just knows to get through these tricky weekends with a couple of winners before we can land a big punt in the next couple of weeks. We've got a few lined up. Now in 120 at Cheltenham, Destrier at 9 to 4 for Dan and Harry Skelton is the first tip of the day. They've liked this horse for a very long time. Um, he's completely unexposed and he ran a really good race at Exeter when finishing third in the Howden Gold Cup. Off this mark, he runs off today. Um, the rest of the field in here have got plenty of question marks to answer. Not so much for the unexposed Destriere. The return to a left-handed track because he jumped slightly left is definitely in his favour and he could have plenty more to come. So it's Destriere in the 120 of a very generous 9-4. to four. In the 230 at Cheltenham, I'm not completely convinced that Champagne Well wants three miles. Um, there's a whole host of improvers in this field, so I'm going to take him on. I'm going to take him on and take a chance with Kiltili Briggs at around 6-1. to one. Now, Kiltini Briggs found a really easy opportunity last time of winning by 34 lengths uh, to get off the mark. This is a step back up in grade, but it's also a step up in trip, and the soft ground is going to be in his favour. He's a proper dower stay on this key to Kiltini Briggs. The combination of soft ground and three miles is definitely going to help him improve. Um, his trainer is operating at a 33% stroke rate at the moment in the last 14 days. It's plus £8 to a £1 level stake here at Cheltenham. So, bit of a chance in the 2.30, but Kiltini Briggs, 6-1. to one. Now, the nap of the day, you can call me crazy, but it comes in the 3.05 in the international hurdle, and it's Call Me Lord, uh, who's around 7-2 or 3-1 to one chance in places. Um, and we all know his publicised issues about not being able to go left-handed. What it was, when Nicky Henderson brought him over from France, he lugged a little bit to his right, so they just sent him out over right-handed tracks. He's not run left-handed in Britain, but he has done twice in uh, three times in France, winning twice. So, you can take a little bit of comfort for that. This horse is a standout for me today. The likes of Alexi Denutz is going to need to improve on the form that he showed last year, including when beating Grand Sonsi in the Tollworth Hurdle on soft ground. Grand Sonsi's never run a good race on soft ground, but beaten out of sight every single time uh, and got close to Alexi Denutz. Now, that rival is coming back off a very long break and off an injury. So he's going to have competition for the lead as well. So I just think it's worth taking on. Pendant Hills needs to improve um, or to prove that a step out, a step into open company is going to suit him down to the ground. It doesn't always work. The former entry with Fakir Dadaudri is behind. He can pick that to pieces. Uh, Fakir Dadaudri is improved for a fence. And the rest were well beaten off marks of 140, 141 and 133. And he's got to give weight away first time out. Chitabello is definitely the biggest danger to Call Me Lord if able to reproduce his entry form. But again, another one who's got to give weight away. In fact, Call Me Lord is the highest rated in this field, clear by £3. And he receives weight from every single horse who's rated within £9 of him. Um, three of his closest market rivals are giving him weight and they're making a seasonal reappearance as well. This race is going to be run at a strong suit and a stiff finish is definitely going to suit Call Me Lord. The only question mark, like we say, is the left-handed track, but everything else is in this horse's favour. Um, Top-rated horses tend to come to the fore in this race over the uh, over the past few years, and I think Call Me Lord is a cracking bet if he can prove that he can go left-handed. That is the only question mark, and you're getting that sort of value in the price because he should be clear favourite in here, in my opinion. So, that's it. Three selections this week. Let's hope we can grab another winner. Uh, Destriere in a 120. Kiltini Briggs in the 2.30 in the nap of the day in the 3.05. Call me Lord.